As you know, we've been studying the Spirit Book for quite so many sessions. And today we're going to study this one question, 980. If you go to the Spirit Book and get to know that you can get the hard copies, there are PDFs online, and there are so many different versions. Here we have the Spirit Book in this session, section about the passions. Last time, we were here learning that passion is the result of excess. Now, Kardec asks, how may we define the limit at which passion cease to be good or bad? Good question. Because right now, we have our children learning in another channel at Kardec Radio's YouTube and the Spirit Side of Virginia. The lesson on moderation as one of the 13 virtues by Benjamin Franklin. And what is the limit to this so-called moderations regarding our passion? And the good spirits answered to Kardec through the mediums by saying the following. Passions are like a horse. That is useful when controlled, but dangerous when it does the controlling. Those who know horses know what we're talking about, right? And they complement. You can recognize when a passion becomes harmful at the moment in which you cease to govern it and when it results in any injury to yourself or others. Let's talk about food. Well, the passion of eating. There are people who eat to live. There are people who live to eat. They wake up thinking about the menu. And not because they are chefs, but because all they think is about the passion of eating. Yes, we may enjoy because, you know, the pleasure of eating is God sent. Yes, we didn't invent it. But... When we excessively indulge, then passion. Passion for anything. And then you may, some people may argue, what about when you're passionate about doing the good? Well, it's a different story. We're talking about things that may do us harm. When we're truly charitable, we don't harm ourselves. And again, some people may ask, what about when we do so much good that we may extenuate our strength, our forces, and our vitality? Is there a limit to that? That's a question that you're going to find also in the gospel according to Spiritism. And the answer of the spirits is this. When you sacrifice your life to the benefit of all, that is great in the eyes of God. It's never a mistake, even if we die helping others. But when we're talking about passions here, we're talking about things that may injure us or do us harm because we are abusing the limits of nature. So Kardec made a comment to this question. We're not going to read everything, but at the very end, he goes back to the very analogy that the spirits gave here in. It's about the horse. So when you think of passion, think of a horse. A horse, beautiful. If it's tamed and controlled. If it's uncontrolled, it's dangerous. And it's useless too, right? So he says, every passion that brings us nearer to the animal nature takes us further from the spiritual nature. Every sentiment that lifts us above the animal nature announces the predominance of spirit over matter and draws closer to perfection. So here it is. When the good spirits in Kardec are bringing us a tip, they say there's the animal nature and the spiritual nature. When we 
do everything we can to advance our problems, to do spirit, mind over matter, great. So the passion that scientists have to discover things, to spend hours on end during the night, researching, reading, investigating, that draws us closer to perfection. But when we spend the same nights doing sex, drinking, and just chatting with friends endlessly without any productivity to the general good, that brings us closer to the animal nature. Here are just some, some examples for us to illustrate and a lot to meditate. Talking about this, now we have Daisy and Paloma. You're going to delight us with a beautiful study by Daisy and Paloma about a case that Kardec brought in the Spiritist magazine at his time. And it's about a spirit named Pierre. Right, Daisy? That's right, Vanessa. It's it's a wonderful story, and it goes hand in hand what you just told us about passion and how that applies to our lives and what happens next when we discarnate it. So 